let's talk real quick about marketing since that's like a passion of mine and yours. Um, what does that look like for you? What are some of the tactics that you're utilizing for, to get HGH out, to get the, the manufacturing muscle out, to get your voice heard? Yeah. So we have, obviously everything starts with like a CRM system. We use HubSpot that allows us to keep all of our contacts, organize them by interest and different social campaigns and things like that. So I definitely say if you're someone out there that does not have a CRM system, definitely, definitely get to that. And with that, we do email blasts to all of our customers. We do automated sequences where if they're interested in a certain thing, we'll put them in this drip campaign, things like that. We heavily utilize social media. We meet with our sales team to get them things that they need to be able to promote our business, uh, line cards and customer appreciation packages and things like that. Anything that we can do to kind of leave that bark on the customer a little bit more. And we also, one thing that we've really tried to do is become a little bit of a thought leader in the manufacturing Mm. space by posting so much content on both YouTube and LinkedIn where people are like, oh, I need to learn how to do some pocket milling on a Mazak. What can I do? Type it in on YouTube. Boom. Our applications engineer, Mike Zillich, has a whole series on Mazak programming, one of the only ones. And people watch that. They love it. It's great. And so now they know next time, oh, you know, it's that top of mind, top of mind, top of mind. Uh, we yeah. also do a ton of events. We love doing events at the HGH group. We love hosting our customers. Um, we do a football that we just did our pigskin kickoff event uh, last August, what's which that? was huge for us. Um, what do you say? I said, what's that? So we did just a big open house that was kind of, so in Akron, that's where the Hall of Fame is. Yeah. In Ohio. So we kind of that week that the Hall of Fame game and everything was going on, we had everybody in for a football themed event. We had tons of machines on the floor doing demos, you know, making footballs and bourbon ice makers and stuff on the machines. We had games, prizes, giving away Browns tickets, robots, pouring people drinks and all kinds of stuff. Um, So that was a really great event. I think we had a little over 250 people there for the one in Ohio. And then we also brought in Dan Yanka, president of Mazak, and um, Mike Chico, the president of Fanic America, to speak, which they had fantastic presentations. Everybody really enjoyed those. And then down south at Crotts and Saunders, we did the same event the week after. Um, Dan was able to make it. Unfortunately, Mike was not, but another Fanic representative was there. James, he did a fantastic job. Again, machines, cool demos robots, all that stuff. So we love hosting everybody. And that really allows people to understand what the HEH group is and sure. make that personal connection with us. So that's kind of high level overview, but just some of the areas of marketing that we get into. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's awesome because there's no shortage of things, right? It's like, come up with an idea and just do it. And, you know, people ask, how do you put together an event like this? It's, I, my brain says it's really not that hard. Like people overcomplicate it. And I think they scare themselves to death on how to do it. You know, like we do, our big event is our golf outing every year. And I mean, it's an undertaking. I'm not going to say it's not a thing, but you know, we usually have around 200 people out total between volunteers and, and golfers and, um, everything else. But it's, it's really like, okay, you want to do something, pick a date pick a location and invite people. Yeah. Those are the three steps and you're, you're off and running. I mean, what are we going to do when we're there? I don't know. We'll run some machines. What do you want to make? I don't know. Let's make some footballs. We'll do whatever. Yeah. Uh, People like bourbon. Let's have some bourbon. Like the the ideas kind of come as you let them right naturally. Like it just kind of flows. But if you sit there and you go, I have to have all of this planned before I even pick a date, you're, you're going to have like (laughs) it's paralysis. It so, is, it is. You know, you want to do something or, or a video, right? Oh, I got to get lights and I got to get a camera crew and I got to have a marketing person. I got to have a this and I got to have a that. No, you have a phone, right? You exactly. have your phone, take yep. your phone, turn it around, take a video, post it. That's, That's what most of my like desk videos of me sitting at the desk, they're all shot with my phone. Yeah. Oh. All of them. But our our marketing manager, Scott Mazon, he is fantastic with event stuff. So like we'll be like, okay, we want to do this event. And, you know, he'll, he'll let me know this is kind of what we're shooting for doing. And this is kind of areas that we want to focus on. So like, we always start with a huge idea, like something that's, we totally cannot do, 
budget wise <laughs> and you know it's manufacturing not the cleveland browns right so um we we start with a huge idea and then we just work it back work it back work it back work it back until it's something that we can logistically handle and something we think would be a good experience for our customers but he does a fantastic job um coming up with with things and brainstorming that and really being the head organizer and leader of of those events um so he he does an awesome job but we we love love events love a good event yeah. that it reminds me of the thing that i can't talk about and I can't wait till I, till I can talk about yeah, it. Yeah, I can't wait till but, whatever oh this is. Oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. One of the things that I can say, it's about a different thing, is that, you know, in that regard, like being unique in identifying yourself and being a difference maker and um, what that looks like, I think it has to tie into who you are as a company and your and your core values, right? Not Absolutely. everything is going to work for every person. Like having a big event, like the pigskin, whatever you called yeah. it, <laughs> is not going to be for every company, right? You have to find right. your own thing and what that looks like. So one of the things that we're doing this year, because it's, it's, I, I mean, I, I went and saw the movie Sound of Freedom. I don't know if you saw it. Yes, um, I did. It killed me. Like oh the Lord. movie ended and I sat there going, okay, now what? Like what, yeah. what we just go have a barbecue now? Cause it's 4th of July. Like, what do I do? How can I, how can I do a thing? Like this is heartbreaking. And for those that, that don't know, that haven't seen it, it's a movie that's about human trafficking and it's a real story. I mean, there's probably some liberties taken. I wasn't there, but you know, I look at it. I look at a movie like that and I go, this is a reality in our world what, what is it? I mean, how do, how do we just, how do we ignore it? And what do we have to do in order to fix something like that? Yeah. Um, and so, you know, after a couple of years or uh, was that a year ago, maybe Yeah. after a while of thinking about it, um, I talked with, uh, my, my partner and I said, listen, you know, we give back our, our, our mission is to make a difference. <sighs> what a better place to do that than in this field of things. And yeah. so, um, you know, we talked for a while and we decided that every, because it's made in America, that means something to us. Every machine that we make and sell this year, a uh, portion of those sales are going to go towards uh, the Tim Tebow foundation in um, putting an end to human trafficking because that that's a small yes. thing that we can do. Now, does that work for everybody? No, but for us, it's something that, we can do and we can tell that story to, you know, if somebody's, I'm not saying we're going to sell more machines because of it. I'm not going to say that we're going to be more profitable because of it. And that's, that's not the goal. No. But if right. you're talking to the right customer and they say, what, what makes you guys different? When you say you want to make a difference, what does that look like? And we say, well, you know, we're working with the Team Tebow Foundation to end human trafficking. If you decide to go with this, you're going to be able to make a difference in the same way. We want to yeah. partner with you in doing that. Is it the end all be all? No. And you're going to have some customers that say, cool, I don't want to do that. Just give me the discount. And that's right. fine too. But you know, for us, it was something that we, we could, we could start it. Right. And it, and it's a way for us to have a conversation about it, um, in a way that makes sense. You know, somebody could say, why did you choose to do that? Why does that, why do you want to do that? Holy cow. I'm making the longest post ever. Stop, stop. Somehow I hit my phone and it's just, I look down. Oh, it just keeps going. <laughs> Hey there, thanks for watching the Manufacturing Alliance podcast. If you like what you saw, click here to watch the full interview, or you can click our channel link here. But either way, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. That's it for now. Take care and God bless.